So, uh, thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for for the opportunity of uh, showing the, this work in here. Um, so about about light and shadow, um, I can I can jo show the two videos uh, a little bit. I will share my desktop. So there are in in my Vimeo the video that is online that you I don't know if you can see it on YouTube. I think yes. Um, basically is a video art version of the installation. Uh, originally, this is an installation composed by two videos uh, and one text. Um, this is light. Uh, they are very similar because there, there, is a, there is a strategy here in exploring uh, a kind of game of oppositions. I can play it a little bit. I I will stop it and because it is just for you to have an idea and this this is shadow which works very similar in in the same way So you are, um, I will stop it right now. Um, you are seeing here two videos, uh, but they are, um, let me just go back here. Okay, so they are two algorithms developed in, in processing. And if if we we were going to put this in a, in a space, these two project projections are running in a loop, in an infinite loop. Um, it is an output of, of those, those algorithms. Um, alongside with these two projections, there is a text. The text is about um, telling about the motivations that drove me to, to produce this, these two pieces. Um, to, it is, it is, I think it is, uh, it is interesting to go back a little bit uh, before talking about them. So I, I am very interested for a lot of years in graphic diaries and uh, the way not just artists, but everyone uses graphic diaries. Um, and in, it, is a, it is an interesting approach for me to, to, to have a notebook, you know, and in the street, in, in any moment, I open it and I make a drawing or I register something and, and I close it, it stays, it finish and I move on. So this kind of production, this approach to things, um, I, I am interested in how how I do this, how I register register something in my everyday life, or I take something from my everyday life. Little, I create a, a little piece, I finish it, uh, and I, I move on to to other ones. So in here, I am going close to to a concept that that I am I am exploring and developing, which is the concept of the digital graphic diary. So not a physical notebook that we just put texts and drawings and some things, but what if this could be expanded in a way, uh, and we we can put in a in a format uh, like this uh, video, audio, interactivity, participation and collaboration, uh, etc. So um, all all this is behind uh, this installation, light and shadow, and other other little ones that I am developing. Um, so and that's why. Uh, 
the, the source, the, the main source to develop this installation was a simple blinking light uh, in the corridor of the university. One day I was passing, there was a light, it was blinking and that that little glitch um, motivated me to, to, to do something with that, to do something with those aesthetic qualities. Um, so I, I did a little video of that blinking light. I produced an algorithm that interacts with the pixels of, of the image and do things with those pixels, creates another image from that. The same way that I, I look a certain thing in my everyday life and I make a drawing which is a, an interpretation of that thing. So in a way I was doing exactly the same and this this parallel approach is 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 personally is very uh, interesting for me to explore, to pick something from the everyday and to make an interpretation from that. So that's what you have in light and shadow, and that's why there is that text that uh, follows the projections because the text is filled with this privacy and intimacy, and it is in a, a kind of reflective uh, attitude. Um, so showing an audience or some someone that sees installation installation showing the the process and the, the motivations behind it so uh, main main concepts here that interested is the is this this private and public space and the tension between the, the private and the public uh, exploring this frontier that separates, or I, I don't like to see it so much as a, as a frontier. I, I don't think it is something that we have like a wall that separates the private space from the public space. I think it is more of, um, it is not a, a, a hard wall, it is a more like a fog wall so it is there but it is fog we can cross it and sometimes that fog is more thick and there are times that fog is more light and we can see more easily what is in the other side uh, but exploring this frontier and being here in the middle is um, is something that i am i am trying to explore um, there are other artists that uh, they are motivating me in a, in a way to 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 use this uh, this privacy and intimacy as the resources to produce the artworks there are of course there are several ones i am remembering i am thinking right now about two for example tracy emin and uh, as a it works in a lot of different media and do a lot of different things, but the, the, the common thing in, in her work is the, the use of her personal life as the material for the artworks. Um, and the other one is Sophie Call, uh, which uh, she has a, uh, she works in several different media, but the same, the, 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 the common thing is that her, her personal life and story is the material to to produce those artworks. So uh, I took I take some inspiration from that, um, and uh, and so this is the context where where light and shadow comes uh, behind behind this this installation. Um, so nothing here is related with the the media I am using exactly. Um, the installation is not about exploring uh, a certain technology. Uh, I, 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 I am not focusing on, on that. Um, I am interested in the... Uh, I, I, am, I am thinking about Lucia Santayel. Uh, I don't know if you say her name like that, when she talks about the, this hybridization of uh, media, different media, and I am I am interested in this mixed media approach uh, to to tell a story or create an experience. Uh, but the installation is not about that um, exactly. Uh, so, and uh, that's it. Uh, I don't know in the end if you have any questions, I can answer. Um, but I, I don't have anything more to, to add to this presentation. Thank you very much for listening.